Now we're going to explain some basic concepts of Forex trading, which is margin and leverage. People give far too much importance to margin and leverage, far more than they should. If you follow the rules that I've talked about in, this, in previous videos, and if you follow proper risk management, I guarantee you that you will never have to use all the leverage that your broker uh, offers. So leverage is like 1 to 100 or 1 to 200. They, for a professional trader, they, using all these leverage would be crazy. It's, uh, these are enormous leverages. Let me explain to you what leverage is. Uh, in Forex, uh, when we're trading, it's very hard to make money if you have a small balance. Even if you have like 10,000 and the maximum position you can open is 10,000 euros, you're going to have to be very patient in order to make some, some money this way. The way we solve that is brokers get in the way and they let you control a far bigger amount of money with your initial balance. So, for example, you have uh, a 10,000 account and you get 100 leverage. That means that you control 10,000 multiplied by 100, which is a million. So what happens when you're controlling 1 million is that you get the profits and the losses from trading with an amount like 1 million into your 10,000 balance account. So the whole process is faster. Now let's go back to CTrader. I'm going to explain to you uh, what you're seeing with some numbers here. Here I have my uh, 10,000 account with 1 to 100 leverage. So theoretically, like we said, I can control 1 million. Uh, I'm going to explain to you what we see here in the balance line when I'm opening uh, my position because I want to explain to you how you're going to get uh, how how you you get stopped out. Um, each one, let's let me open uh, 100,000 euro position. Let's talk about uh, margin first. Margin is the amount. I have opened in euros divided by my leverage, which is 1 to 100. In this case, because everything is in euros and my account uh, currency is also euro, there needs to be no conversion. So if we divide the 100,000 euros of my position with 100, we get this number, which is a margin that is used for my position. If I open one more position, I'm going to have 1,000 each, so it's going to be 2,000. The more I open, the more my margin increases. Let's go to the next number, which is free margin. Free margin is uh, equity minus my used margin. So it's actually how much free equity do I still have to use? Since we didn't explain what equity is, equity is your account balance minus your unrealized uh, profit or loss. In this case, I have free margin of uh, 5,900 5, euros. Now, the, 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 the last number that is used when uh, uh, brokers do a margin call or a stop out and confuses traders a lot is margin level. What is margin level? Margin level is uh, if we divide a margin by equity, we get margin level. So it shows us as a percentage how much bigger my equity is compared to my free margin. In this case, as a percentage, my, uh, my equity is 200% uh, of my free margin. This is a number that you should watch when, uh, to know when you cannot open any positions anymore or to know when you're going to get stopped out. Usually when this number reach, reaches 100%, so your equity is equal to your free margin, if you keep on trading, for example, let's do more trades. At 100%, your broker is not going to let you open any more positions. Now, the stop out level and the margin call level are different for each broker. So you need to go to the broker specific website to, to check it out. But usually it's around 30%. So when this number reaches 30% and your equity is 30% of, uh, of your free margin, then you're going to get stopped out. Stop out means that the broker is going to start closing your positions with a loss in order for, to protect himself so that he will not uh, lose any money. Since we mentioned stop out, 
I want to give you some uh, basic rules of what you do is very basic rules, very easy things to do in order to protect yourself and not get stopped out. First thing you need to do, try to keep a one-to-one -one risk reward ratio when trading. We talked about that on previous videos. Second is the whole uh, point of this video, have calculated risk management. Know how much you're risking all at all times. So uh, people who get stopped out don't know how much they're going to risk. They just enter the trades, go with the flow, hope that everything is going to go their way. Things don't go their way, they, uh, they get stopped out because they lose more than they can handle. Or they close the application without a stop loss and they lose. Another thing that you must not do is not add to your losing positions uh, when, if th that is not part of your system. If you're losing, you open a, hundred, a 100k position, it's losing. So instead of putting a stop loss, uh, you buy 100 more. And then it goes, still going down, you buy 100 more. And you keep on doing that until you grow your account. Uh, if you do these uh, simple things, you're going to protect yourself from uh, growing your account. With this video, we conclude the series of videos that uh, gets you in the correct mindset before you actually start trading. And uh, that was intentional. Um, from now on, we're going to be concentrating a bit more on technical analysis, on setups, on uh, specifics like that. So, thanks for watching.